I know every golfer can drop five shots using John Ram's chipping tweak. Short game has such a big effect on your scores. Now, today we're answering Chris Partridge's question. He said, I broke 100 yesterday. Well done, Chris. But I could have broken 85 if my pitching and chipping was good around the greens. Well, Chris, we've got you sorted. And if you're thinking, Alex, how do I get involved? How do I get my queries answered? Well, subscribe, turn on the bell, and just put them down below in the comments. I'm here to help you play your best golf this summer. And we're taking the wrists out of your short game today with this unbelievable chip and tweak. Have a look at this shot. Imagine, this is 17th at Mottram Hall, long par four. If you get it here in two, you've done so well. But being able to get this up and down from here, that's key. If you can get 80% of the time up and down from this situation, your scores will plummet, or your points on Stableford will go sky high. Whatever way round you play, they will really, really improve. Because you wanna be able to feel as though you're confident to strike it and get it close to give yourself a chance of a putt. Now, I would take that every time, even though it is high side. <laughs> okay, so think about it logically, and this is where we're all going wrong. Have a look at this from player cam. Most golfers will chip, and this is what you've got to stay away from, with their wrists. No real body, because they're scared of putting power in. Now, if you're wristy and add in body when you're too wristy, then yeah, of course. That's where we get those knives. That's where we get those thins. But being wristy, have a look at the sort of correlation between how wrist I am with my club face. Also, it has a correlation between that inconsistent point of contact on the ground. Now, to become a good chipper, we've got to love hitting the ground, but we've got to have a consistent point on the ground rather than stood here and yeah, sometimes I get it good, sometimes I don't. I'm becoming really, really wristy. Now, there's three stages to this process, and it, I would say it's imperative you follow all three. You don't want to implement one and two and not get three, and equally, you don't want to skip one and just get two and three. Follow this quick, simple three-step guide to John Ram's chip and tweak. I want to create a dependable, safe, structured motion for you. So, stage one. Grab your towel, and you might have seen something similar before, but this is brand new for me, right? Okay, and using this guide is new. Arms under, arms on the side. Now, this will feel very, very odd for you. If you're a golfer who hasn't moved your torso chipping, you need to do a few reps of this. So what I recommend, get your chipping set up. Imagine you're addressing the golf ball, and you can even do this at home in the lounge, and just put your palms together. You'll really see that you're gonna get a little bit more of a pivot and a rock from the body. No wrists, look at that. That is the action I want. So every time your hands are now passing through the same space. It's not like this, is it? You can understand why that would be a bit unpredictable there. Same space, back, through. Same space, back and through. I recommend eight to 10 reps just feeling that with the arms on the side of the body for stage one. Next up, what we're gonna do here, and have a look at this from the player cam perspective, just scratch a little line into that turf. So you've got a line to focus on. That's gonna be your way of practicing that low point without having to hit loads of balls. If you hit the range and there's like a white mark on there, on the range mat, use something like that. Get yourself set up with a towel, get that line towards the back half of your stance and have a look at that from player cam weight on your left hand side. I want you to get used to contacting that ground in the same place every single time. So you stand here, okay, bit forwards, bit back, okay. You've now got your adjustments of two this way, two that way. You find that middle ground because as I say, this is gonna be a new sensation for a lot of you. And you know if you get too wristy, because your towel pops out. So reassess, and I would really recommend doing this. And the beauty of this, right? Yes, when you're practicing and you're, you can mark the ground, but when you're playing, you can't mark the ground. But what you can do is you can pick up a defect on the ground before you hit your shot and learn to love hearing that ch Learn to love trying to hit that same point with that same feeling. Right, let's hit one away now. This is stage three. How easy are those first two? No balls, hit the line. And stage three, towel on 
and you're really taking the wrists out. You can't hit, you can't get wristy. It focuses you of moving as a unit, moving all as one piece, not as an independent, please get lucky chipping method. Now watch this. This is simple, this is easy. You rock it back, you rock it through. I know every single time I can be dependable through that space and look at that chip. So nice and simple, you follow those three simple stages and you'll be able to chip so much easier. Also, added bonus, a little bit of a, well done for getting to end the video because you can access this tweak. What I do on the course, a little bit of a cheat. It's not cheating, but it feels like it's cheating. Hook your jumper under, hook your jumper under. You've got the same feeling as that towel there to take into that shot. How easy is that? Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell so you never miss a simple, free golf YouTube instruction video.